Hello, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a random process fitted line plot. In addition, we'll qualify the fit, quantify the fit with a statistic called the root mean square error. Okay, so to start I'm going to uh, find the average gas use here because in a random process model the uh, points uh, randomly fluctuate around a constant level and our best estimate of that constant level will be the average of the data that we've collected in the past. So what we have here is uh, 30 days of gas use at my house. Um, again, over the period from uh, the end of January to the end of February, the data is in hundreds of cubic feet of natural gas used, so per day. Um, okay, so I'll start off by finding the average. I'll call it the mean here. And uh, I use the function equal average, highlight the values of gas use, and there it is, 5.1. I'll show one more extra decimal place, although it's not really necessary. Uh, back in the data area, I'll copy over the uh, gas title, and let's rename that to mean. And uh, right here, I'll just have a column of constant values at the mean. Okay, I'll make another column here called the uh, residual. Now it turns out that the mean is going to be the same thing as our fitted uh, values. Okay, so let's take the residual is the actual value minus the fitted value. And then I'll copy that down. And now let's make our fitted line plot. I'll highlight the day index value and the gas values. Control shift down arrow key. And then insert scatter connect the points. And actually I guess I could have added the constant values too. Sorry, I'm going to go back. Let's delete that. Let's highlight all three of these columns. Insert scatter connect the points. And you can see my fitted fitted values, the averages, or the mean, is just a horizontal uh, band. Okay, let's clean this up. I'll click on the grid lines once, hit delete. Let's rescale the x-axis to stop at 30. Right click on the axis, format axis. Let's start at 0, go to 30. Um, I'll go by increments of 7 to correspond to the 7 days of the week. Press OK. Let's uh, rescale the y-axis, right-click on that, format axis. Let's start at 2, go to 9 by increments of 1, and let's get rid of that extraneous decimal place. Go to number, change decimal places from 1 to 0. Okay, so a little bit cleaner. Uh, let's rename these series. Right-click anywhere in the graph area, select data, series 1, edit. Let's call that actual. Uh, press OK. Series 2, edit, let's call that um, fitted or forecasted, either one is fine, or mean even, press OK, there we go, and I'll clean this up a little bit more, let's add uh, axis titles, click on the graph once, layout axis titles horizontal below, let's call this a day index, and axis titles vertical, let's do rotated, this is gas use. Okay, a little, uh, an overall title, I guess. I'll put that, um, stretch this out a little bit. We like the y-axis to be about half the length as the x-axis, so a little bit more. Okay, um, so I'll add an, a title for the entire graph right here. I'll call this the random process fitted line plot for gas use data in hundreds of uh, cubic feet. Random process fitted line plot for gas use data in hundreds of cubic feet over 30 days. Okay. Uh, right click anywhere in the air, plot area, format plot, border color, solid line. I like a medium gray to match this medium gray outside border. 
right click, format chart area, border color, no line. Okay, and if you wanted to, we could clean up the inside uh, series a little bit. I'll right click, format data series, marker options built in. I like circles, I tend to shrink them a little bit for time series, format, marker fill, black, line color, black, line style, a little bit thinner, marker line color, solid black. And then for the fitted values, right click, format data series, marker options, I say none, uh, line color, solid, let's do a darkish gray, line style, a little bit thinner, dashed if you wanted to, but uh, I think that's fine. Okay, so that looks good. And now let's find our quality of fit statistics. So we need MSD, the mean squared deviation. I type uh, equal sum SQ, parentheses, highlight your residuals, parentheses, and then I divide it by the number of residuals, 30 in this case, so there's MSD, mean squared deviation, and the root mean square error is the square root of the MSD. So my typical deviation, I'll round these to two decimal, or format to two decimal places. It's good enough. Okay, so my typical deviation between actual gas use values and what this model uh, predicts them to be is 1.36 uh, hundreds of cubic feet. So a typical error. Um, we can also do a forecast. Uh, this model assumes that the process will stay stable uh, for infinity. So we would forecast all future values to be 5.05, even though it seems pretty clear there's a slight downward trend here, which would make sense given that uh, spring is approaching. So this probably is not a random process. Okay, that's it for this.